Hi guys, Chesapeake here. Figure I'd do a video on how I'm stacking quilts on my Warbottom Ridge Runner. So here it is with the bug net in the zipped off and in the pouch at the foot end. As you can see there, it fits nicely. On top tonight, it's, it's going to get down to around 34 degrees tonight, I believe. So I've got my 40 degree Econ Burrow. And inside of that, I've got my Snug Thermalon top quilt. And with the right layers, I should be fine. I've also got my um, Hammock Gear Econ Pillow. So, that's on top. And I wear some really thick Under Armour base layers. And probably some fleece gloves. My UGQ Down Scully or Beanie hat. And uh, maybe like a fleece over top of my base layer shirt and I should be plenty warm enough with this setup with the 40 degree burrow and the snug pack thermalon bag liner that I turned into a top quilt liner but underneath here's how I'm doing it I have two Costco down throw under quilts one is a gathered end style under quilt and to attach it what I've done is I've taken a loop of shock cord and just wrapped it around, Lark's headed it to the secondary suspension, grow green on each corner, and I've just wrapped it around here and clipped it with a mini beaner right here. And on the other end of the mini beaner is my Costco down throw Lynx clone. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's a little difficult because it's really windy today. Here you can see it. Both of these are overstuffed. This one has faux baffles. The gather end does not. It's circular sewn through. So these two together, and it's there's nice little nice gap in between them. When I lay in it, they um, they don't compress each other. They're just barely touching when I have weight in it. So together here's what they look like on the ends you can see the silver links clone and then the blue gathered end and also in the gathered end I've just taken the primary suspension and just ran it around the um, corner the pins of the, the spreader bars to uh, just give it a little bit more lift and in case it comes unclipped or something like that it's still attached there you can see a little bit better in the sun to get the saddlebags out of the way here the two quilts together and then on the foot end the same thing the end cinch of the gathered end snugs right up against this and so far I think I've used it to 42 or 43 degrees together like this and I was plenty warm with the two of these and I've used the the regular gathered end to 40 degrees by itself last year so I'm definitely thinking that stacked they should get me well into the 30s um, I haven't used the Lynx clone in cold weather yet by itself but kind of want to test it out this way just to see how it goes and then um, I just got this Econ Burrow last spring so I haven't used it in the fall yet but at 40 degrees or 30 38 degrees I think so far is how long I've had it and I was I was plenty warm so with the snur with the Thermalon top quilt liner and the correct clothing I think I should be fine not going to need a tarp tonight I don't think um, it's really windy right now but the wind is definitely dying down um, I've been thinking about adding a ridge line but I don't know probably not with the top off I, I will probably put the top back on because I still hear insects and if I hear insects that means they're spiders so 
I will have the bug net on tonight, but just for this video, I wanted to show you without the bug net on. So, uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. And uh, if you have any questions, here's let's see if I can give you a better shot of the suspension. Here is the the corner, just some regular reflective shock cord. It's just a long, a really big loop of shock cord that goes from here up to this micro beaner and then it clips to the suspension and then the Lynx clone also has a piece of shock cord that goes to the micro beaner. So really simple, I can take them one and off one at a time if I want and then I just cinch the ends accordingly for how much adjustment I need and it's real easy kind of give you a little walk around real quick no gaps especially with the saddlebags uh, on the outside of the two under quilts I don't get any gaps in between the two um, and I also on a night like this I have my 2QZQ just a regular gather in under quilt protector that just barely fits on here so I'll use that as well to kind of cut the wind and it sits up a little bit higher than the side so it'll keep air from coming down in between the two quilts so I should be fine at 34 degrees I believe so there you go guys how I'm gonna stack quilts to get down into the mid to low 30s any questions just let me know I didn't make either one of these quilts I bought them I bought them both from hammock forums uh, like I said they're both regular Costco down throw originally and one is from a, is just a regular gathering and that's a blue one and then the silver inside one is a lynx a full full-size Lynx clone with with faux baffles so they should match up great together so we'll see and I'll let you guys know how it does l l bleh, sorry about that let you guys know how it goes tomorrow and uh, how low I got down to